in action against enemy aggressive forces in Korea on the night of 4, 5 September 1952. Volunteering for his second continuous tour of duty on a strategic compass outpost far in advance of the main line of resistance, Private First Class McLaughlin, although operating under a barrage of enemy artillery and mortar fire, set up plans for the defense of his position which proved decisive in the successful defense of the outpost. And grenade. Standing up in full view, he shouted words of encouragement to his comrades above the din of battle, and throughout a series of fanatical enemy attacks, sprayed the surrounding area with deadly fire, accounting for an estimate of enemy odds. Private First Class McLaughlin served to inspire his fellow Marines in their gallant stand against the enemy, and was directly instrumental in preventing the vital outpost from falling into the hands of a determined and numerically superior hostile force. His outstanding heroism and unwavering devotion to duty reflect the highest credit upon himself and enhance the finest traditions of the United States Naval Service. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, while serving with Company F, 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines, 1st Marine Division, reinforced, in action against enemy aggressive forces in Korea on 17 August 1952. While accompanying a patrol en route to occupy a combat outpost forward of, friend of friendly lines, Private First Class Simonek exhibited a high degree of courage and a resolute spirit of self-sacrifice in protecting the lives of his fellow Marines. Marines, 1st Marine Division reinforced in action against enemy aggressive forces in Korea on 27 October 1952. With his platoon subjected to an intense mortar and artillery bombardment while preparing to assault a vitally important hill position on the main line of resistance which had been overrun by a numerically superior enemy force on the preceding night. Second Lieutenant O'Brien leaped from his trench when the attack signal was given and shouting for his men to follow, raced across an exposed saddle and up the enemy held hill through a virtual hail of deadly small arms, artillery, and mortar fire. The enemy at close range, he proceeded to hurl hand grenades into the bunkers, and utilizing his carbine to best advantage in savage hand-to-hand -hand combat, succeeded in killing at least three of the enemy. Naval service. First Lieutenant Raymond G. Murphy, United States Marine Corps Reserve. For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, as a platoon commander of Company A, 1st Battalion, 5th Marines, 1st Marine Division reinforced, in action.